Hello my friends, hi, my name is Rebecca aka Vegan Bodega Cat and today we are coming back with another what I eat in a week. I had zero patience to put on makeup today, also it's sweltering outside so here we are, skin all bare and shit. It's been fun seeing my eating change over the past few months as I've moved and everything. I hope I've been keeping you guys entertained with switching it up a bit. I just kind of eat what I want, when I want it, and I record it to show it to you. Making sure I get enough protein and fat and everything, of course. One side note is I take a multivitamin um, that I just don't show you guys because I feel like that would get repetitive, but I do take a multivitamin. I also take some iron because I've been anemic my whole life, so I've been taking iron for a bajillion years at this point. I don't take B12 because my multivitamin has a ton of B12 in it. I used to take it separately and then I read my multivitamin once and I was like, why am I, this, like, this is just redundant. So those are the two supplements I take. I know some of you guys were asking, that's the multivitamin and my iron and everything I eat in this video. I don't have much more to say as an intro. I hope you like this video, and without further ado, this is what I ate last week. I was making a recipe for an ad post, and while I was cooking, I snacked on a red delicious apple. For breakfast, kind of breakfast, I'm eating this sushi bowl. I have sushi rice, kimchi, carrots, cucumber, tofu, avocado, and spinach, and I'm gonna top it with some Sanjay organic Tamari. For dessert, I had two of these gluten-free organic chocolate chip cookies. I'm going to head to the gym in about an hour or so, so I figure I'll have some oatmeal uh, for energy. So here we have some oatmeal that's cooked in almond milk and some apricot jam and some crunchy peanut butter. It's simple, but it's fast and very yum. Hey guys, I just got back from the gym and I'm having a protein shake. It's the Ideal Raw ideal raw Chocolate Peanut Butter. And to make it even more peanut buttery, I added some PB2. And I blended it in some almond milk and some water. I would want to blend it, opened it. I'd want to blend it with some frozen banana, but I just realized my poor friend ate all of our frozen bananas yesterday, so I guess I couldn't. Ooh, although this protein shake specifically is really good in water. Like, it's just really good in general, so I don't mind that at all. I was planning on having lentil and potato soup for lunch, but I heated it up, took a bite, and found out that it had spoiled without me realizing it, so that was great. Uh, so instead, I'm having some rice with some Mewa teriyaki chicken. I have some peas in here. There's some snow peas in here too. And then on the side, I have some more kimchi. So this is gonna be my dinner. Roberto and I are eating donuts, cookies, and a croissant soon. And I don't do well with a lot of like sugar in my stomach, especially on an empty stomach. So I picked up a Monty from Orchard Grocer. It's like an Italian sandwich, and I'm gonna share this with Roberto. A boom! Look at that beauty. Jack Stirbrew has a bunch of locations in New York City and they just launched a new croissant and double chocolate chip cookie. So of course we had to go try. The double chocolate chip cookie was amazing to die for. I definitely recommend. The croissant was a little bit maybe tougher than I would like, but still decently good. I know vegan croissants aren't the easiest thing to make. Another day, another sushi bowl. It looks really dark because I have the tamari on it, but this is some tofu, uh, cucumber, carrot, avocado, rice. Oh, I forgot to put kimchi. I'm gonna get kimchi and put that on there too. But this is gonna be my lunch. Also, because I filmed a video with Roberto, I ate half of one of these donuts. They're from Peaceful Provisions and they're actually spicy. They have hot sauce on them. Don't ask. I just ate like, maybe like a quarter of one of these. And then Roberto ate two and the rest of mine. I'm, well, I look rough. I'm hungry and I didn't feel like cooking anything. Um, so I made a shake. This has chocolate peanut butter protein, some peanut butter, banana, and some almond milk. Ooh, yum. I was still hungry after that shake, so I actually made this, um, actually a big pot of soup. I'll show it to you. It's on the floor cooling. Um, it, I made this really big, pot of lentil soup because I had these green lentils that I didn't know what to do with so 
I made soup with it with some potatoes and carrots and pepper and mushrooms and I poured myself a small bowl because I was hungry so I'm eating this now Hey guys, good morning. I'm about to head to work, but I wanted to show you what I'm bringing to work today. Don't judge me this morning. My food is like weird, but it's edible and it'll fill me up. So some days are just like that. For breakfast, I have what I have almost every single breakfast, which is overnight oats. I actually sweeten this with apricot jam instead of agave because agave is expensive. Um, and in here, okay, so People have been asking for my overnight oats recipe and I haven't been giving it to them because it's so simple It's like not worth making a recipe video over you literally get I mean you can like double triple this recipe But this is the recipe I use. It's just half a cup of oats one cup of almond milk one tablespoon of chia seeds and then some sort of sweetener and then you mix it up and you pop it in the fridge and then the next day you eat it or if you need to eat it the same day if it's like um, quick cook oats, then you could just leave it for an hour. But if it's um, like the oats take a lot longer to cook, then I would say you, you really do have to leave those overnight. Anyway, see, not worth making a recipe video over. It's just that simple. For lunch, I have some pasta. Over here, I have some pasta in tomato sauce with some spinach and some lentils and a bunch of nutritional yeast, so that's my lunch. Now my dinner is pretty weird. Not gonna lie, it's just kind of like random shit I found to eat because I didn't have like food prepared. Um, at the bottom I have two pieces of pan fried tofu and then I have a bunch of brown rice. That's literally all I have in there and then I was like, okay this needs a sauce or something but I didn't have anything to make a sauce with. So I found half an avocado. So I'm going to like mash the avocado with some salt and then put it on top of the rice and tofu, and hopefully that'll taste good. It's a pretty pathetic dinner, but what am I gonna do? Anyway, I'm gonna head off to work. I'm probably gonna eat the oatmeal in the car because I'm already really hungry, and then I'll catch you when I eat the rest of my meals. I'll let you know how good this ends up tasting. While I was in tutoring, I got like so hungry, um, and I totally ate the pasta that I was supposed to eat later in the day. Um, boom. And I'm also craving coffee, so, I forgot to tell you this earlier, but I actually made myself a coffee and I put it in the fridge at the family that I was tutoring at's house. So now it's an iced coffee and I'm gonna sip on this on my way to my next job. By the way, this is an old jam jar and it's pretty waterproof. So I can throw it in my backpack and so far I've had no spillage problems. But cross your fingers for me because uh, if this ever spills in my bag, I'd be so sad. So welcome to my second lunch, which is so sad. It's just some brown rice and then underneath there, there we go. I have like two pieces of tofu. And then what I did was I took the half an avocado that I had and I mashed it up with some salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna like take little pieces of, uh, of uh, tofu and rice and just go like that and then like that and take bites uh, like that. I got home and I'm eating a peanut butter and apricot jam sandwich as a snack. Trying to make up for that disgusting second lunch I just had. On this morning, Just For All invited us to a pop-up to celebrate their Just Egg product. So we had the Just Egg in many different ways. The first was a burrito. The burrito had the Just Egg, avocado, charred broccoli, bell peppers, and harissa sauce. It originally also came with feta, but we asked for that to be removed. The second dish was the simplest but I feel like it showcased the just egg pretty well. It was just a scramble with roasted mushrooms, roasted corn, and scallions. It also came with cheese, which we asked to be taken off. Of course, I dipped my scrambled eggs in ketchup, which I did throughout all my childhood, and it brought back so many memories. The third dish was a breakfast sandwich with egg, avocado, kale, fried capers, tomato jam, pickled jalapeno on a panini roll. Also, one of my patrons came with us on this adventure. It was great meeting her in person. Say hi to Jessica. It was great finally getting to meet you. I ate so much just egg this morning that it took me six hours to get hungry again. I made a shake. It has chocolate protein, almond milk, banana, and peanut butter. I'm having this and then I'm heading to Brooklyn Boulders for a workout and some photos later on. Roberto and I just came back from Brooklyn Boulders and I'm starving, so I heated up some 
pasta. Here's one bowl for me. There's some um, just pasta with tomato sauce and broccoli with nutritional yeast on top. And I have a bowl for Roberto and I added some avocado to his as well. His and hers action. My mom gave me a bunch of these Middle Eastern dates and I'm gonna have one for dessert. Check, check out how juicy this is. Wait, oh, I focus. It's noon and I've been editing all morning and I got really hungry. I'm not in the mood for overnight oats because that is sweet. I'm in the mood for savory, so I'm having what I packed for lunch. There's some chickpeas, some rice, and some um, dinosaur kale with like tahini, lemon, Dijon dressing, and that's what I'm having for breakfast. I am hungry and it is hot, so I don't feel like heating up any food. I'm gonna make myself a protein shake with this Ideal Raw peanut butter chocolate protein and some frozen bananas and peanut butter and almond milk, and I'm gonna drink that as a snack slash my lunch. Today I shot a video on how to feed four people for under $5, and I made lentil soup. Each serving came out to a little over a dollar, so I was pretty proud of myself. I ate a bowl of soup right after filming the video. My family had a barbecue that evening and my brother was sweet enough to grill me a Beyond Meat burger even though he totally burnt it. My mom also got me some chow cheese. This looks so good. And... Thanks to mom. Thanks to mom. And my mom made vegan... Um, what's the right word for this? Kosla. Kosla and potato salad. So I'm gonna definitely get some of that too. For dinner, I ended up eating that burger with some barbecue chips and potato salad. I also sipped on a peach pear LaCroix. Hello. <clears throat> wow, that morning voice though. Hi, I'm about to go to work and, and I'm hungry earlier than usual today, so I'm eating my overnight oats before I go. It's just almond milk, chia seeds, oats, and a little bit of sugar because I'm out of agave. I also brought some food with me, but I'll show you that when I'm at work. I'll see you then. I just got to my second job and I'm about to eat. It's pretty basic, I just have chickpeas and rice and like a kale salad and I saw that my mom gave me a snack so I guess I'm gonna have that for dessert. I have two dates stuffed with walnuts and that's what I'm eating now. I also have some pasta with some broccoli in it that I microwaved and I think it's too hot right now. So Roberto shot a video with one of his friends and um, she got us some sweets. So I came home and he had a chocolate chip cookie and this croissant, and this very oddly shaped croissant. So we're gonna share these. I made some grilled cheese sandwiches and tomato soup for my boyfriend. This is a whole wheat bread with chow cheese, like the sun-dried tomato herby cheese. So. I'm only eating like one of these little halves because I am pretty full after eating those sweets but these three and the tomato soup is for him. Today I shot a video called $5 Vegan Meals in New York City and I stopped at three awesome places. The first was Spring Cafe where I ate two bao buns, the first one was ginger chicken and the second one was a braised tofu skin. Then I popped over to Green Gorilla Food Truck in Union Square and I had a delicious tamale. Last but not least, actually it was kind of least, I went to Falafix and I had a falafel burger sandwich with guacamole. I'm currently meal prepping. I have some veggies going, some rice about to boil, and some potatoes in the oven. And I want a snack because I'm hungry, so... I'm grabbing a peach and I'm gonna eat this. Update, this is the juiciest, most delicious peach of my life and I'm so happy with this decision right now. Mm. It's like literally running down my arm. <laughs> I'm drinking a shake because I'm hungry and also craving chocolate so this kills two birds with one stone. I have chocolate protein in here, frozen bananas, almond milk, and peanut butter. You said kill two birds with one stone. PETA would not approve of this. 
I really hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you got some, you know, food ideas, snack ideas, recipe ideas, or you were just entertained, whatever you came here for. I soon will be attempting to switch out all my canned beans with dried beans. This way I'm spending a lot less money on legumes. However, that's a little intimidating for me because I'm afraid that no matter how long I cook the beans, they'll be grainy because I've had that problem in the past. So if you have any tips on how to cook beans so they're not grainy, like dried beans from scratch, then please let me know. And I think that's all I have to say. Like, if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! A huge shout out to my bodega babes, Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Osiris, Alex Creates, Maya, Michelle, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Lucia, and Laura Haynes. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are possible with your support.